because of its, uh, its uh, diversity and how spread out it really is. It's known for being found along the Nile River, of course, which is where it gets its name from. And uh, the acacia nilotica is known as garat in Sudan. It's known as Egyptian thorn or mimosa in Egypt. And it's known as wabul in India. Those are just a few of the names. Now, this tree in particular has been used for a very long time in all of these places to treat many different types of illnesses and only recently has it been found out that they have anti-cancerous properties. They do help stave off cancer and uh, you know even if it's minuscule they do and uh, they have several different uses aside from just cancer treating. But there is not enough uh, attention put on these plants for it to be used to its full potential. Now uh, we'll go over to Fatia over here, and okay. she'll let us know of some of the things. That okay, thank you. Okay, now you know uh, about Acacia nolatica, and uh, if you go online, uh, you'll see here. This is Acacia nolatica tree. Here we have uh, different, uh, you see, uh, trees of acacia, and of course acacia is different types, but we want, uh, the one that we use in this uh, study is acacia nolotica, and here this is the tree of acacia nolotica, and uh, this tree has different parts, and each different part of this tree uh, is used to treat a different kind of disease. Uh, for example, here we have, uh, this is the bark or sap. Uh, the bark is very efficient and uh, it can be used for, uh, used as a stringent and it is used for uh, uh, stomach ulcers and used also for many, many uh, different diseases. And uh, we have here, uh, this is the uh, pod, and here we have many pods, and here we have pod powder. That's what we uh, are used in the lab, and it is uh, very good, and it is antibacterial. It is used for stomach ulcers and uh, colds, and uh, we tried it with uh, nine different kind of gram positive and gram negative bacteria and it gave good uh, results okay now here we have acacia nolatica leaves these are the leaves we have here some leaves and here we have leaves powder these leaves are used uh, as a stringent also and they use for skin ulcers and it is uh, it gave good results and also uh, nowadays people use uh, them for stomach uh, for sorry for uh, skin ulcer, for skin uh, cancer and here we have uh, the acacia thorn and this one also used uh, as uh, uh, for cold and as a stringent and uh, finally we have uh, the roots. The roots are very uh, good uh, as antibacterial and they are used uh, for uh, uh, liver uh, tonic and spleen and they used as uh, astringent also. And here we have the, uh, sorry I forgot about the seeds. Here we have the seeds. The seeds also are good and uh, we use it with uh, pods or we can use it separately uh, for different kind of diseases. And, uh, we are going to study these uh, different parts and see how uh, good are they uh, for cancer and uh, that's why we are here. Yes? All right, so as you now know from her, uh, these Many of these parts have um, good uses in fighting cancer, but the only problem is there's not really enough attention put on this plant for it to be used to its full potential. If we go back to the leaves, 
these powdered leaves, they're used directly, they're used like this to help fight cancer, and it's not a very advanced form of fighting cancer, as you can see here. Now, um, if we were able to research it properly, maybe we'd be able to have it in the form of a pill or a capsule or maybe even some sort of lotion, anything like that. It would just be a little more effective than this because, Fine. yes, exactly, because either these are just dried and powdered. Now, that is what we're going to try and do in our study. We need your help and support to actually, you know, um, go through with it because um, we don't have that many resources right now. We just know what we're doing here and we need your support and help to pursue it because uh, we need you to donate to make this, come, make this dream come true and to help people all around the world who are suffering and dying from cancer every day. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.